Hey, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you can get the most for your Jeep. In this week's episode, we're visiting the Canada Jeep Show located in Barrie, Ontario. And at this show, they are raising funds for Sick Kids Noble Cause, but also it's an opportunity to get together with other Jeepers and check out what they've done to their Jeeps. And that's what I'm going to do in this episode. I'm going to go around and highlight some of the cool things that people have done, because maybe it'll give you ideas on what you might want to do for your Jeep. There's lots to see, so stick around. It was a beautiful day to be heading to the Canada Jeep Show just southwest of Barrie, Ontario. My plan was to get there nice and early so I could scope out the place. Looks like a few other people had the same idea. And it was pretty exciting seeing all the rigs come in. And I couldn't believe all the Jeeps that showed up early like I did. A special shout out to the organizers of this event from DD's Customs, as well as all the sponsors that have provided prizes that you see in this tent right here. There's a long row of sponsors and Canada Jeep Show bargains to be had there, but we're not interested in that right now. We are going to have a look at all of these Jeeps and all of their accessories and cool mods. Props and respect to people who can restore Jeeps like this. I guess we can call this the Canada Mod. I think some of these vinyl stickers are pretty awesome. This one looks great and it helps prevent hood glare. Here's a cool camo pattern and we'll see some Jeeps with a green theme. These green tinted reflectors in the headlights are something I've never seen before, but I think they look very cool. This is great to see some non-wranglers in the group and you can tell they've seen some off-road action. Very cool. And here's some very nice looking aftermarket fender flares. These tube doors look cool. I even discovered a dinosaur theme. What's this? Zombie Hunter response team? It really must be a thing. 
camping accessories like rooftop tents? I'm pretty fascinated by them. Let's have a look. I've never seen the inside of one of these before, so let's have a look. Wow, it seems to be very spacious. It gives you a great view and lots of ventilation. Pretty impressive. And now finally my favorite Jeep camping accessory and what you see here is a camping trailer made from the body of a Jeep. Where the engine would be is a storage box and the cabin of the Jeep makes up the camper. You have to admit, this looks comfortable, and the back is open with a full screen to allow for ventilation. I even see a TV and a heater in here. Roof rack has jerry cans and ABS pipe going around the perimeter to provide solar powered warm water for the shower and the roof rack also carries two kayaks. Now the builder is originally from Newfoundland so he put a moose as a hood ornament to remind him of home but you know when I look at this camper it does remind me of a moose with the roof rack being the antlers and the headlights being the eyes. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. You know, with 421 Jeeps in attendance and having raised $16,500 at this event, I think the Canada Jeep Show was a huge success and it was for such a great cause, the Sick Kids Foundation. It was also a success in that a lot of Jeepers got to get out with their Jeeps and share their passion with other Jeep owners and got ideas from each other on mods and accessories for their Jeeps. And I hope that you got some ideas and you enjoyed this video and maybe you'll go to the Canada Jeep Show next year. I'll see you then. Hey, I hope you found that interesting. Now let's move on to our tip segment. Now for some cheaper Jeeper tips. For this week's Cheaper Jeeper TV tip, it's to go to the 10,000 subscriber celebration video that we released two weeks ago where we announced the draw for a 12 volt 23 quart Bouge RV fridge. There are 10 prizes in total to be won, so just make sure you go to that video and follow the criteria and the deadline for submission is 9pm Eastern Standard Time, August the 13th. Keep in mind also that I will have some discount codes for other Bouge RV fridges. Make sure you check out the description section of that and other videos. Now let's hear what our subscribers have to say. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from the Corrosion Class Action Lawsuit video. Hey Jeeper Jeeper TV, thank you for the info. I'll keep a close watch on everything. I'm thinking of getting the whole vehicle undercoated with Crown, hoping it'll help some with the underneath at least. Signed, TMW. Hey TMW, thank you so much for the tip. In fact, I've got one video on some tips on rust proofing and another one on how to do the rust proofing of the frame yourself. The reason I did this is because Crown will not warranty your frame from rusting. The warranty clearly states that it warranties the perforation of the body panels and as we have learned about the JL and JT with aluminum body panels, they are not likely to perforate so you really won't be taking advantage of any rust proofing by Crown in your body panels. Now the Crown product will help your frame but they don't warranty it probably because they know people who drive on the road or off-road a lot 
will just rub off that material and that's why I made the video on how to do it yourself so you can keep up with it just like you were suggesting in your tip. So thank you very much. And if you have a tip that you'd like to share, please feel free to put it in the comments section below as it may make it in an upcoming episode. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, how about giving this video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. Till the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.